definitely her. Just wow. Antified and a little bit darker. So yeah. But uh, here we go, you all. We're gonna get ready to start this race here. So um, our players gonna be ready, and they are going to be off. Let us go fast and win the game again. Everybody's racing the same seed here. We don't know who is going to win this. Uh, I, I got my best, but I'm, I'm hoping for maximum troll. What about you, man? I like trolling seeds. Oh yeah, I really like the trolling ones. Uh, I. We've already gotten one really trolly one tonight. I'm hoping for another, to be honest. It's uh, it's just more fun. Well, we're starting out with World 6 first. And, of course, um, we're going to immediately tell you right now, as you see them all trying the pipes here, the pipes are randomized. We don't know where they're going to go. And, of course, <laughs> yes, all of them stuck behind that first rock. So we're going to have to play this the long way in World 3. Yeah, the uh, rock there is one that you normally break through in the vanilla run. But here... It's not even one of the best places to use a hammer because it only skips a couple levels. Yeah, so. indeed. So yeah, I'm telling me if they could have gotten the uh, other pipe, they could have skipped this whole one, two, three plus first four area. You know, but again, they all would have had the same benefit of that one. Um, but of course, they're gonna be pretty much even here so far, going through one of our, the one of our world uh, two levels here. Yeah, and we see a uh, differentiation in everyone's strategies right off the bat. You know, MFP was the only one who decided to get the double power up right off. The other guy decided that it only, or S Diesel decided that it was only worth it to get one. And uh, Oglib is just running through things little. Two times two. That's that's world four. I was doing math. Two times two. Yeah, math is tough. Stage. Math is math is free. You know, just like I know that taking a hit when you are small, one minus one equals zero, zero equals death, which unfortunately Liv just got probably before holding up the whole race, but it's okay. We love him anyway. Oh, and they're just <laughs> getting a music box in that first hammer, bro. That's really disappointing in a randomizer. It's one of the l l more underwhelming items. Yeah. So, um, as, speaking of randomizer, one thing to note is that the, is that the, uh, enemy, the power-ups are randomized in most locations, and they're um, as typical in many randomizers. Some things cannot be totally randomized because they will avoid a soft, you know, they have a soft lock. Um, I love how the hammer decided to just bounce off Mitch's screen, just intimidated by him. Yeah, it's just sheer scaring. <laughs> you know? And, uh, here we go. Everybody's favorite fort right here. Not a fort they love. And of course, for some reason, we're getting a lot of stars lately. Yeah, well, when you have it randomized so that any power-up can occur, stars are usually pretty rare. So when you go to any random one and it can be a star, it seems like there's more. Yeah. But uh, sometimes they're very nice. Of course, I mean, we got stars in the hand level, and of course, uh, what, of course you expect a cheat sheet to kill you. No matter what Mario game you play, a cheat sheet will kill you. That's oh, yeah, very tough. You know? So, of course, the hands are part. So, when it comes to level randomization, if you look at all the numbered levels on the game, anything that has a number, the hand levels, any level that does not trigger a lock to be broken, they are all shuffled in the same level pool. So, you got all those levels, you know, almost 70 of those stages. Then you have all the castles and forts all randomized uh, with each other. So, anywhere you see a fort or uh, any... Um, any of those stages, any of the uh, the, the uh, battle stages from World 8, they're all shuffling each other. And of course, Piranha levels stay where they are, of course, they randomize as the item and all that good stuff. And of course, you may even see a randomized level like what Mitch is playing right in the upper right corner, one of our hidden levels. Yeah, those are levels that are come from the beta of the game, and they never took them out of the code. So they're just kind of floating in the cartridge. Yep, so of course, eight of those, and of course, one of those holds one of the only two auto scrollers that remain in the game. Every other auto scroller has been removed. That's all the airships, all those levels like 1 4 and things like that. But the only levels that stay in their auto scrollers are level 5 9, that diagonal auto scroller, and of course, one of those hidden levels. And hopefully, we won't see any of those because they're nice and slow. No one likes that. Yeah, they're a little slow and actually pretty tough, too. The uh, the floating one, as we saw in the last seed um a lot of people had trouble with the the uh, auto scroller with the platforms indeed we see a little baby cheap trying to 
Oh, they fly, spawning vertically, <laughs> trying to chase Diesel up there. Of course, that particular enemy can randomize to a boss pass, which obviously you can never have enough boss pass in the Mario 3 randomizer. Um, okay. Wouldn't bother me if it was in every single stage, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, that's just fun. I mean, you know. Yeah, we're going to. I'm working with Fred to, to code that hard mode in there, you know. Sun and, and boss pass in all stages, including boss fights, Koopa Kids, all that good stuff. Like could be the next uh the next hack tournament is uh oh, yes, is boss pass percent. Dude, I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it, yeah. I mean it play it. Yeah. So of course everybody gets about in the water level, except for Diesel here. And of course, um this this unique stage here again, boom boom kill on there. Obviously, it's kind of interesting how you manage your items here because, you know, obviously for Boom Booms, fire being preferred, you know, if not, you get a randomized star very close, which can happen now. A lot of stages with those close power-ups. But um, one thing to note as they get near the end of the level is that the airships, as I mentioned, are not are no longer auto-scrollers. When it gets to the final portion of the level, the airship that they get is randomized, so they could get any airship from World 1 through 7, as well as the Koopa Kid they fight is randomized, as well as their HP from 1 to 5, as well as their physics. So they could be one of those, you know, super high jumpers, or they could be one of those big body sonatas that want to shake the ground when they land. So you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, and I think watching the uh, players adapting throughout this tournament to the uh, different types of, or the airships not being auto scroll and the different types of boss fights have been really interesting. We've got people now who do like pure P speed strats in airships that previously you definitely could not do that for. Oh yeah, definitely presents a nice little visual speed. Um, for observing how they do this, and unfortunately, you know, eight we got eight one showing up again, a level no one really likes. Oh my, both the left side players are down and out. One slipping off, one bonking off the the um, wobbly block there, and they got to go back and try again here. And there's definitely a lot of caution being used by a lot of these players. Like, they're not using the uh, normal speedrunning tactic because they never know what they're going to run into. Um, yeah. And, of course, that's one thing that also... Wow, man. Uh, man, the obliteration on the left side of the screen is just ridiculous. 8-1 just killing everybody. And as, as all these deaths are happening, one thing about a randomizer is that you really want to think about um having some lives at the beginning because when you run into levels like this when you start burning a ton of lives you want to have some lives in reserve not only for that purpose but maybe there's a level that you can skip and get around or you take an intentional death to use a better item but uh if they can't get through a level they're not going to build up those cards and get any bonus lives yeah we uh, often see people take the uh card five up from the stars in these at the beginning because the lives are so important even if you're, uh, even if you don't plan to die on purpose or on accident, you can do it on purpose that many times. Indeed. So we have both uh, Mitch and Chuck fighting our boy here, watching out for all these balls here. Is it a two hit, I believe. So they're both going to move on to their second world. You see Glib going through when well, both of them now finally getting past that awful eight one, going to the auto scroller that's no longer an auto scroller. Um, again, a little bit more tedious. You gotta be a little careful when these auto scrollers don't scroll automatically because a lot of the platforms and the flying enemies you need to land on are kind of not in the same position. So you have to kind of take a lot of a lot of leap of faith as a result. So again, for those who are watching in the chat, th these are two separate races going on right now. Our upper players are racing each other, um, and we have our bottom two players racing each other. Live. Man, I'm telling you, him holding up the race is starting to bite him back in the butt. I'm telling you. I think he just died to the fact that the um, big to little iframes are half as long. They sure are. Barely a half second as a result. And of course, um, so all four of our players, however, are racing the exact same seed just to make our lives easier because you don't want the commentators to work too hard now, do you? you? Can't be burning no excess calories commentating the race. Whew. You know? Gotta be careful on these on this ice level. Oh man, Chuck threading the needle and falling down there. Again, you can see how this enemy randomization, when you have a lot of those fire 
those fire creatures, um, again, it can really induce a lot of lag in the game, a lot of sprites there. And of course, it kind of gives you more time to, to adjust. But again, sometimes you just slip right on off. And Mitch is going for some uh, some optional hammer bros here that he didn't have to go for for the chance at a decent item. Um, we also see that the, both of the players on the right have used hammers to bypass the first three levels of World 2, which is not normally an option. Yeah. Oh, but Again. Mitch gets a new hammer. <laughs> gets it back. A lot of hammers here. Hammers yeah, it's here. great. It's great for their for their runs. And that's one that yep. if other people use the um use the hammer early to get through World 2 super fast, they might not get it if they don't and, go back. And super fast, Chuck gets thrown out the bottom of the level there and right near the end. So uh, he's going to go around here. He's got to be careful. Again, Chuck is on his last life. And, oh, who well, else? Before now he's gonna, I even well, could utter the words. Yeah, he, uh, he doesn't really have to do too much because breaking the lock, that doesn't go away. As well as that rock there, so uh, yeah. he'll be able to basically go straight back to where he was. Um, of course, he's spawned right on the end card, so <laughs> hopefully he can match a couple things here, maybe to replenish his inventory, maybe a couple of hammers. Again, uh, one little strat that people can take advantage of is that when you do the end card game, even though you don't know what you're matching, if it happens to be that you match, say, just... There's only uh, eight set patterns that the players will play. Now, one thing to note, even though this is a randomizer, as in the vanilla game, which end card layout you get is dependent on what frame you you start the matching game. So they can all have different patterns of it because it is still frame dependent. So uh, they may, you may not see them all fighting or playing the sexing matching board at the same time. We got Chuck trying to get through this uh, level here. Mitch having the lead against uh, Diesel, trying to get out that first world here, along with, along with Glib here. Yeah, it's been a, a bit of a rough world one for these guys. Yeah, and again, that is the randomizer. Sometimes we can have these long, challenging worlds. Sometimes with good pipe RNG and, of course, having a nice supply of hammers and clouds, we could almost bypass the entire level. In fact, world three being one of those potential chances. But again, unlike world, just like world six, at first pipe not taking them to victory. So he's going to play. Um, another one of everybody's favorite levels here. Oh boy, this lovely level from 7 8. Of course, one thing about this is they'll be able to pick up a hammer suit, and Mitch is a player who's pretty good with his hammer suit movement, but ooh. He's definitely getting the hammer suit. Yeah, we had a, we had a boss bash show up there. Chuck yes. is going to move it to World 3 as well. Yep. Oh, but Mitch loses it super early. Yeah, just like a typical Mario 3 player. Like, wow, what is this? And then Bam loses. Can't even enjoy <laughs> having it. Looks yeah. like S. Diesel is about to exit World 1. Now, watch Glib. He's going to go for the clip here. Again, this is a little strat here. As long as you're big Mario, except for Frog, you can use these blocks and clip through. Again, you'll see some clips. Again, people who play, have a little bit more familiarity with the game take advantage of these. Again, ever since Mario 1, basically your Pixel 16 hit it and through it save and have do all that backtracking with hidden blocks and all that mess yeah you actually have quite a few um attempts there before you start losing time for that specific one indeed glib is going to have both of those hammer brothers in his way so it's probably going to pick up a couple items probably one of those hammers as uh mitch again we're getting all the levels you really don't want to play um <laughs> getting that second fort from world seven here at least you know, randomized items yeah, he's got fire indeed. Oh, never mind. No <laughs> Again, Mitch doesn't want any power ups. Like, son, Super Mario, just give me the big guy. He's uh, he's not doing well for any of his names. He's uh, he's Mitch Flower Power, and he's the head of the Hammer Bro Society, and he can't hold on to those power ups. Dude, for he's literally Mitch Flowerless. I mean, seriously. I, I swear, the last time I commented on Race Man, he did not keep it. Nope, not then either. Watching that sub count just drop down because of his lack to be a leader. I'm telling you. And Diesel is going to get a, a nice little Tanuki suit here, which is always nice. You have to have it to complete this stage, to be honest. Uh <laughs> you know? Again, this is one the level that S Diesel is playing right now. Again, a little lengthy level. Um, 
definitely a possible candidate for a, a cloud just because of how long it takes you know depends on what you got ahead of you of course and whether or not you're actually forced to do it some people have seen skip it some people are like uh especially if you don't have the power we're talking about like a minute and a half here if i knew it was coming up then i'd probably skip it but it's not worth killing myself to get it out of yeah it takes a while to kill yourself on top of that you know yeah because the all first the that fire. yeah so of course uh, you see Mitch in the upper right corner going to do a coin ship again going to get a guaranteed item here going to have to take care of double boomerang brothers here and uh that's a uh, tough pattern the on the boomerangs yeah. they got man, clap for it. really getting a nice little supply of items here speaking of items Chuck trying to get some matching done here he's going to get match those coins again he'll have to check his inventory to see what he gets once he gets once he gets an item He'll actually be able to correlate what he matched to his inventory. So, no, in future matching, say for instance, if a star gave him a mushroom, he'll know that the star will always give him a mushroom in matching. So, that's one little, one little thing there. Man, Lib almost getting hit by the, oh, the cannon shot out of nowhere. Ooh. Yeah, I found that in the randomizer is a lot more prevalent where cannonballs come from places where there's no cannon. Isn't it fun? <laughs> We randomized the cannonball sprites. Yeah, I, lo I love it. And uh, Glib finally done with that world one. He's ready to just throw this cart in the trash can somewhere. Oh, I wouldn't blame him. He uh, he got a nice little uh, life supply, though, from that from the uh, last couple of levels. He uh, did the star card twice in a row and got 10 lives. Mm hmm. So just to give me an FYI of what you all see when it comes to the world. Um, so the first seven worlds are in random order. So for the tracker standpoint, you'll see the actual world number they have gotten to. So, so for instance, they're on their third world for Mitch and whatnot, and second world for other players, etc. And so you'll see the actual the number of worlds that they have gotten to. Um, there again, world one through seven always are randomized. World eight will always be last. Maybe not necessarily the levels, but. Uh, if you can see more information about what is randomized by typing exclamation SMB3 in the chat, and you can go uh, go learn yourself something, as they say. Oof, boy. Chuck having to get through this castle with no power-ups. Not fun. Watching it gets big here. And Chuck got through the... Uh the hard part of that fortress pretty pretty decently he's small mario so he's got to be very careful though or else he's gonna have to do it all again yep and of course our lovely guy hotfoot here we've got again i mention all the time hotfoot has a brother or maybe a sister i don't know what it is but the other derivative of hotfoot hotfoot usually stops walking when you face it but of course the other hotfoot walks anywhere it pleases at any given time I'm gonna assume that's Hotfoot's older sister. I don't know why. Maybe yeah. Mitch doing his favorite level, but not doing it the way he likes to. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> not, not. Is that yeah. a P-wing? Yeah, that's a P-wing. Yeah, using a P-wing there. Chuck getting that cloud down there from that. And of course, one thing to note is that you see uh you do see that um when you use your p-wing of course your your horizontal movement is pretty slow so you can you know you lose it very very quickly when flying so definitely not the best to have i mean floating is definitely helpful in this but you know just for generally traversing a level quite slow yeah it makes you a little slower but it gives you a lot of nimbility mm-hmm so again, Chuck going through uh, one six here. Again, you can't use that pro strat because you you have randomized enemies. And of course, this is where the speedrunners have to like relax because they're used to certain enemy placement to maneuver through the level. But in the randomizer, that's all going out the window. You don't know what you're gonna see. Lib also doing the the flowerless strats here. Yeah, refusing to maintain it for more than two seconds. And that can be really tough for those uh, those two plants that come out there. There's actually a pattern that comes up where you either have to take a hit or you have to have a flower. <laughs> yeah. So Mitch is trying to get through Wendy to move on to his fourth world. Again, Wendy, 
again another scene where Wendy is is on thick status, trying to shake us up and stun lock us. Yeah, at least this time she didn't take so many hits. Yeah. I think Wendy becomes Wendy seems to be the most annoying one when we have the the earthquake ability on her as well as the super high HP because you have to deal with those rings so much longer and God if you're little man yeah it's also it's also tough if uh, you have a um, arena map that's got a lot of hills on it because mm -hmm. the uh, the hoops are normally bouncing in a perfect square and people are more used to that pattern. Indeed. Oh, yeah, we have people in the chat who love Thick Wendy. <laughs> I was just calling her Heavy Wendy. I don't know. <laughs> that might be worse. I don't know. <laughs> Indeed. Now, if you haven't noticed already, you, you noticed that uh, S. Diesel has pulled ahead of Mitch here. Um, it's getting quite close here. I mean, they are really moving forward. Again, having a little bit better luck on these pipes here. And, of course, I can, like, running through an airship here. Got to watch out for these cannonballs, man. Kind of take them out. I, I, I like the fact that um, Diesel's using Green Luigi here. <laughs> As opposed to Red Luigi. Yeah. So that route, and for this is one of those prime examples where you see a different route path and World 3 will allow, um, allow Diesel to catch up. And of course, the thing is, you know, Mitch has a whole lot of hammers right now. So even though he's caught up, he can really take a big leap by having all those excess hammers there. Yeah, he's probably at least saving one or, or both of them, perhaps, for 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. Which, again, have the highest payoffs, but not are not necessarily even necessary. Indeed. Which commentator in which? Well, I'm this commentator, and, and the other guy is the other commentator that helps learn, does it? Oh, he's right. That's true. <laughs> no. I, for those who just joined, my name is, people call me Big John. And who are you? I go by Jabum. See? Now you know. And learning is half the battle. You'll never forget. G.I. Joe. There we go. Hey, Mitch is my brother. You know I love Mitch. Mitch is like my Canadian brother from another sister or something like that. Whatever, however the comment goes. I don't think that's a phrase. Yeah. Well, look, I can make a phrase. See, it's, see, the thing is to be an innovator, not a duplicator. Oh, man, write that and put it on a shirt. Son. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Watch out now. And so, Diesel is going to not go for any of the clips and just do this straight vanilla. There's a lot of clips in this stage that he's doing normally that you can uh, use to get through walls. But um, first of all, they're pretty difficult with a raccoon tail to begin with. So yeah. I don't blame him for not wanting to go through that headache. Definitely. Definitely don't want that. And that's, and that's one of the things. That's all the clips, really, you know, those different physics. So uh, Lib going frog strats here. Ribbit, ribbit. It's not an airship, but I'm still happy. Yeah. Of course, I mean I, I mean, I know he wants to keep it, but of course, the thing, you know, frog stress, although they are visually, you know, we all love it. Oh, an invincible, oh. De <laughs> an invincible dead frog. <laughs> an invincible dead frog. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no one likes power as me. Every time they get something, they just lose it and live. Just takes their own life. The tunnel. Tunnel. Oh, no, no tunnel. No tunnel. Look at that. Mitch letting us down. I love him to death, man, but he's letting Hammer Brother Society just lost another member. <laughs> Got that lovely emo. We can't even use it right now. Uh, so here we go. We got Roy over there on Diesel Stream here. Mitch is going to be going for clips in 7 9. And he get Oh, man. First try there. Look at him trying to be a speedrunner. He's getting good luck with that right now. There, good luck still. If I know Mitch right now, he's like, "How come this isn't happening in my warpus attempts?" I know he's saying that, man. Nah, he's he's missed just enough where he uh he wouldn't be that happy with it. Yeah, now he's like, "Oh, garbage." Yep, he's he's at four misses, and that's bad for him. <laughs> he gets out at two seventy three, which is pretty decent, you know. He started getting to like two fifty five. That's when he gets like if you took the vanilla weight around, that's when you really begin to lose time, but.
Well, it's amazing for a race. It's just not good for his world record runs. Indeed. If we even got that far, man, thankfully he didn't worry about early him. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, S. Diesel, yeah. S. Diesel is hammerless right now, so he cannot skip the first portion of the World 4 map here. Now, Mitch does have hammers, so this may be a number lead change here. But, of course, nom nom. I don't think that you would elect to do the World 4 one if, if you didn't do the one in World 5. Because that yeah, would be the same number of levels. I'm not sure how many he did skip there, but uh, again, he could, with him potentially trailing now, it, I mean, this could be another lead shift, and they not sure how many hammers that would leave him with. I think one. So many inventories. Yeah, there's too many inventories to keep track of when you put four people on the screen. It's hard enough just to remember what world they're in. Shoot, they have to remember. They, if they don't remember, I know we don't know. <laughs> you know, ironically, we, we did write. I did write a little script here that if they do play an emulator. For instance, they can actually read their inventory, but uh, we don't give that to them. Can't be cheating now. It's harsh but fair. Yeah. So uh, again, Mitch is going <laughs> using a frog there, and of course, Mitch is going to use that hammer. So that's going to put him at the uh, first fort in World Four and. Uh, Taking a little death here, so that actually is going to switch our lead temporarily. So we'll have the lead by about one stage ish. Oh, and he was too small to do the clip. <laughs> <laughs> little guy. Little guy ain't got no strats. And he just go. got, all, got almost got hit by all those potaboos. Yeah. Now, one thing is to begin to build the inventory is that they have to be mindful, especially when they get like, I mean, you don't. You probably won't have anybody with 28 items, which is the max you can carry. But again, eventually when you realize you have a lot of your items, it becomes a little, maybe a little unneeded to continue to get stuff, especially if you have a lot of hammers and pee wings and clouds. Um, so you might want to, you know, avoid some of those things if you can. Especially the end card, which is kind of a slow process anyways. Yeah. Indeed. Yes. Amazing nim nimbility. Was it nim <laughs> nimbility? Nimbility? Nimbility. Nimbility. Yeah. Nimbilityism. There you go. We got to another ism and more suffixes. Makes it sound more more smart. More smarter. More smartest. You win this time, John. Thank you. Thank you. Shouts out to me not being an English major. <laughs> Making up new words. So oh Mitch getting bought by Bertha. Woo boy, those iframes almost did not save him there. Yeah, he got the short ones. Yeah. Man, Whoa. can we can we can we shout out the uh, sound effect chips we got going on? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I loved it, but it was weird. Yeah. Got one of those beta NESs apparently, I don't know. So uh we got Roy fight over here. Chuck is gonna be done with that and gonna move over. Be done with that world. Now, you see Diesel going back to the end card. Again, just about one and a half stages behind Mitch at the moment here. We've got double boomerangs. Watch out for the flying socks here. Ooh, picking a bad fire. Ooh. <laughs> wow. We had that three seconds ago. Glib has actually had a pretty amazing comeback considering the, uh, the trouble he had in World 1 earlier. He's got a yeah. ton of hammers in his inventory. I just saw three right there. Yes, he sure does. Now, Mish taking a death here. Having to do that long, I'm going to take six instead. Um, that is the only other auto scroll. And of course, now he wishes he had size. So he's probably going to take a death here, maybe. Oh, he's going to play it. Okay, he's going to play it. Whoa. Man. Risky jumps. Telling you. So again, a very nasty assortment. And then this level is seven six here. Which you see Mitch playing right now. Again, another long vertical level. Um, it could be a little quicker if he had a mushroom or something to quickly just take a death and try it. And uh, but it would be much quicker than playing this level where he is right now. Oh yeah. But sometimes so, you always you weigh the option of you know death and then trying the clips and stuff like that versus. It's a lot of animations to go through, you know, reloading the world map, picking the level again, loading back in. 
and then trying so see, to steal. Yeah, indeed, yo. See, S. Diesel using a, uh, taking the death as well, like Mitch did. Good thing he used that star there because that's definitely not what you want to do. You have to fight any boomerang brothers or any kind of hammer brothers in the water when you're a small Mario. And this is really close between these two here. Now, of course, these players don't know where each of them are. That's Diesel basically being one stage behind, picking up the Teddy's hammers, boy. Again, both Mitch and, and Diesel have these hammers, and and of course, by the way, there's also one item we haven't talked about, which is the anchor. So the anchor is literally like playing as Mario in 3D World. He's completely useless. But in the randomizer, the anchor awards a random item. And it could be anything that you can normally have in your inventory. And look at that. Look at the top. S Diesel has literally already cut off a minute from the deficit. Getting going for the clip, taking the death, getting a first try on top of it. Yeah, that sub pixel was very kind to him there. You know? So even though he's still a trailer, that will significantly cut his um cut Mitch's lead down. Again, there aren't he's just finishing that level. Mitch is gonna have to do a hammer, brother. He's gonna I actually can screen scroll it. Um, in case you don't know, if you're ever on the screen transition and you're on a hammer brother the same exact time, if you simply press, press the D-pad in whatever direction the map would take you, um, you'll be able to just go right over it, as Mitch just did. Yeah, he must assume right now that he has enough items to finish out this race without needing extra hammer bros, because those are really kind of easy sources of items. Indeed. So you see, you, again, you see, um, uh, you know, Chuck also getting through the same stage. You see Diesel just finishing up, and Mitch is going to be done with, he's at the halfway point. He's finished four worlds. He's going to be moving into his fifth world now. Again, not too far ahead. Again, um, even though we have one of our really, really good runners at the top of the screen, upper right, S. Diesel is on his tail right now literally with his tail as he flies across this airship here yeah diesel clearly has a very good understanding of these levels and it's going to be interesting because as you see we now know that the fifth world they're going to counter is the world seven map let's see how trolley the pipes are and again already having to do a pick a pipe so again just the same way diesel caught up earlier in uh world uh six map this may also come into play here because these players right now could be Mitch could be going on a dead end path right now. We have no idea because we don't know how to get out of this. So, most of the time you'll take the same path, you know, avoiding trying to play any stages if possible. So, we just don't know. It's going to be interesting because this could happen again. Again, there's also a very important lock use here because if for some way you can find your way to the lock beside World 9, you literally can just go straight. If you have a lock, a hammer, a cloud, that means no levels, no stages in World 7. You can go right to the castle. So, and of course, oh boy, this is going to be interesting here. So Mitch is, is sampling the level path, trying to find a way out of here. If you notice a little earlier, you saw Mitch pause in midair. These munchers you see that Diesel trying to get across, um, they don't stop when you pause the game. They continue their cycle, so you can basically just pause in the air, and wait until you land. Yeah, at first it looks like they're doing a panic pause, but then you realize, hey, it saved him. Yeah, it's a lot of little, little pause things, and like that same thing can happen in Contra. They, you can pause the game to kind of reset those that fire cycle in energy zone. Oh, that's something Chuck, new. Chuck's trying to clip into a pipe at the end of the level there. Yeah. It's cute. So again, there's a hammer potential there on that lock. We don't know. That could be the winning path to get us to the right side. We don't know. You know, at least two will get us to the right side that we can actually traverse. One requiring a hammer, one being right to the right of seven and eight. So of course, <clears throat> Chuck, as you see, uh, you know, Chuck and uh, Mitch on the right side of the map here. They took pretty much the same uh, workflow to get through the mm -hmm. maps. They had the same idea. Yep. Paying off. We have seen it fail, unfortunately, you know. 
yeah, occasionally it's good to do something that's that doesn't actually look the most intuitive because it gives you a shot. Like if you think you're behind, you might as well take a shot sometimes. Indeed. And you see Diesel right there getting over there to the right side of the map. Now, of course, um, just to update you all, for those who are watching the stream who just joined, we have four races right now. We have two simultaneous races happening. We've got S Diesel and Mitch Flowerpower going against each other. Um, these two players are in their own bracket. And we have uh, Liv and Chuck Attacks. They are racing each other. Now, all four of them are playing the exact same seed. But again, two different races just giving you double the pleasure to watch. Mitch picked up three items from that end card. It's a pretty good collection. Yeah. Of course, and you see him right there. Yeah. That's what we were just talking about earlier, using that cloud and um, music box combination. Yep, when you use the, that number of items, though, it's like you've really got to um, complete this level without dying, because if you die, you're going to go back to um, needing to do both of those levels. Indeed. And of course, hopefully we get a nice uh, boss fight, preferably something that requires just one hit. And of course, a very, very nice terrain and him having tail ability will make it pretty easy for him. Mitch going to go for the off screen grab. Got it. Yeah, looks pretty decent there. So again, if you grab that wand at the top of the screen, um, typically you never jump for the wand. However, if you're at the very top, you'll instantly warp to the bottom when it transitions, as you can see right there. And saving those frames ooh Oglib hit by a rogue wrench oh, man that is unfortunate there Oof. and what is with the left side and the star kills literally the self star kills man not a fan of of the invincibility theme apparently well getting the item from that block and making it back onto that little elevator block is a lot uh shorter window than i think people realize yeah, so, I don't think I ever go for it. I'd like to hit the block just to see I hit it, but yeah, the item's gonna get burnt. Yeah, I see <laughs> people know? do it in speedruns all the time, but I actually can't do it. Yeah. You see Glib trying to go for the um, clip here. Again, this is 7-6. Seven, 7-6 six. Seven, six is a little bit more challenging because you have a lot less weight, but uh, he makes me shut up and he gets it after 85 attempts. No, he gets it. <laughs> and Again, Diesel didn't even want that, that inconvenient you know, flower. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Typically a level you'll P-Wing over, but again, they don't know what the level is until the of course. For so, uh, oh, look at there. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, using that hammer there, shortening World 1 map tremendously, obviously. Yeah. Hammer for three levels, pretty, uh, pretty much the minimum you want to go for because there's so many places now that the hammer is useful mm -hmm. and we got another frog suit by glib yeah really interesting like enough <laughs> it's kind of funny because i find this to be actually kind of faster at least doing the p-wing you know just convert your horizontal movements faster but ooh, those jumps yeah, that would be scary to me. I don't know. Frog suit has weird physics. You don't have like the running start for jumps, but you get the height of a running start with the frog, right? Yeah. One thing about frog suit is that when you jump, if you let go of the D-pad, you, you instantly stop, which is unlike when you play with any other character. You know, you have your kind of your deceleration per se. So you can always stop on the dime just by letting go of the D-pad. Yeah, Mitch already finishing up this world. Not going to go for the wall jump, though. Yeah. He's Soft. already got his one off screen grab. He's done. Yeah. Ooh, Chuck, unfortunately, Ice and Sledge Brothers is not a fun combo here. But he's going to start up. Can't blame him one bit. Yeah. Stars are really good for that. And he got a star for his star. Uh, reimbursement. Pretty good for a uh, level you can't bypass anyways. Indeed. So, again, Mitch moving on to his final world. Again, Chuck just behind him. And, of course, one thing about World 8, of course, is the fact that, you know, that uh, Bowser is always in the same location. However, we have to figure out how to get there. Again, a little pipe maze. And typically, mathematically, for those who like maths, 
you kind of want to always try to work to get to the dark screen because that's the highest percentage of pipes to try yep. uh not guaranteed that it will work but you know mathematically you want to try to get there of course unless the first pipe that mitch is going to try will take them there you never know yeah the dark world's great too because if you go in there you usually have like a couple pipes that you can try right off the bat and if that doesn't work out you only have to do the fort to get more pipes yeah so but ooh. these so, ones are being kind of trolly and just going to each other though yeah so mitch is going to make a decision if you can go up to the fort and try the pipe above it you can go to the left and try 8182 or go back to the first screen and go across that path so He's gonna go up and see where it takes us. <laughs> and also, <laughs> he might have bad luck, and it could take him to the other side of eight one eight two. Which rip. <laughs> one will take him to the lock, and one will take him to the uh, to the hands. <laughs> yeah, man, just it happens. That's the uh, that's the RNG I expect. <laughs> you know. So again, Mitch having to slow down his little man, poor Drabo. Inched by the spikes, poor guy. The dude's like crazy though. He survived that. Yeah, man. He's already dead, so I guess he can't die anymore. I mean, Mario crushes him. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. So Mitch is going to find out right now whether or not this was a good move. Otherwise, we're on a completely wrong screen. Let's see where we end up at. And ooh, well, he has a lock to it's break with that hammer. Let's see we'll where it see takes him. Much, yeah, we'll see how much it was necessary. Oh, oh no! It wasn't, it wasn't even necessary at all. Yep, so it looks like we're going to have to take either 8-2 or 8-1 route, or may have to, that other pipe could warp to the hand levels, and we may have to go the whole route. Who knows? Yeah. I think, I think by process of elimination, he's going to have to do the hand area. Yeah. Now, those two pipes on that screen could loop to each other, but... No matter what, he's on the right path for what the end result is. Um, I don't think it would be quite enough, though, for Diesel to surpass him, though, unless he just really gets good real quick here on his and choice. makes some really interesting decisions in World 8. Uh, again, he cannot, he cannot, you cannot cloud the tank stage. Again, those are automatically selected when you hover, when you mouse over the mouse. There's no mouse in Mario 3. Hover, click, navigate, whatever. So uh, there is no clouding them. You can't put them to sleep. You can't just put everybody on the, on the level. So you have to play them. So we'll see what happens. The weirdest pipe that Diesel just went into. <laughs> yep. It's just so, like half there. Indeed. So again, Chuck also going to do this, and he's going to learn also the hard way. In fact, it's like he's going to turn around right now. He might just... not have a hammer anymore. Yep. So he's going to go ahead and play. He's going to cloud 8-2. Does he have another cloud? It looks like he's going to discard 8-1. As an invincible frog. <laughs> oh, yes. That's his protection against losing his cloud. Is, uh, yes. Finally. Frog. Someone who gets invincible who doesn't immediately just kill themselves. I, I <laughs> applaud Chuck for that. So Mitch, as you can see, in fact, I believe that means that the other screen was actually locked out. Huh. There was no yep, way to so, get there. Yep, so the 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 airship level and the other side of the hands actually connected to each other, so you would never have any access to it, which is fair game, you know, unneeded. Yeah, I'm surprised the randomizer allows for that. Yeah. Well, you know, I heard they do that same stuff in some Zelda randomizer. Hey, let's put a key inside the room. It's actually locked in, you know? They're copying oh, strats, yeah. apparently. Oh, Chuck. Got the dragon oh, where boy. the fire's supposed to be. Watch your dome piece, bruh. <laughs> we got the sun in one one. How cute. <laughs> Imagine if that had been people's introduction to the real game. As they get you know? one one and there's a sun. It didn't activate till pretty deep into the level though. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, usually the sun will kinda of go off about halfway through. Of course, if you take a pipe, you'll just take them out of play altogether, so. So interesting enough, you know, these players are, are, are kind of pretty close here. Um, Chuck, uh, ooh, getting caught by the hand there, having to play one of the one of the hidden levels here. Yeah, and I don't think the enemies are randomized in this room because it seems to be Buzzy Beetles all the time. 
Yeah, you have like your 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 item banks that basically have what items are part of the bank, like the like the like the uh, castle banks, like the dry bones and thwomps and all those guys. Hotfoot. You got Mitch doing the duck strats. He's gonna get hit by fire though. I bet. Yeah, oh, a little too. Maybe not. Yeah, a little too far. So for those who just don't know, and you know, before you go tweet about it on Reddit, yeah, tweet on Reddit. Uh, <laughs> Bowser's hitbox is solely his dome piece. Anywhere else is safe. So if you're big, you can duck, except for Frog, because Frog can't duck. And if you're small, you can just chill. Yeah, it really freaks people out the first time they see you do it. Yeah. It's a good party so, trick. Oh, yeah, indeed, yo. Impress your friends. Get phone numbers. So Mitch will be the completionist and finish first between him and S. Diesel, finishing up with a time of 44 minutes and zoom foom six second 44.51.7 ish so congrats and gg to mitch taking the win there again a pretty close match there man i think that almost came down to like a extra extra cloud and hammer it seems like yeah and he had a very good time for that seed that was uh that wasn't just luck or anything yeah man again woohoo that's these we're gonna see if we can talk to mitch a little bit here um s diesel having to do Oh no! <laughs> of course, um, those cheap cheeps, they spawn wherever the character's position is vertically. And of course, that means in 8 2, they could spawn right in the air, right beside you. Yeah. Fish are pretty horrible. I hate them. How could you hate the cute little fishy wishies? They ruin all the runs. All the runs. But look now, you said you wanted trolley seas now. We can't have trolliness with some kind of fish. There are limits. So we want the big old ball splash, but we don't want the cute little babies. Ooh, Chuck fell in the lava. Man, oh. burnt to a quiff. Does he have another hammer suit? Nope, he's going to have to pee wing. <laughs> Same thing Mitch had to do here. So we're going to see if we can get Mitch in here. I know. Yes. Job and confirmed fish ah. hater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mitch, power of. Fl well, actually, I can't. You're Mitch flowerless again because you just don't like flower power anymore, apparently, man. What's up with that? <laughs> oh, man. I looked for it. It wasn't there. I was more leaf this time around. I was more of the leaf. I, yeah, I see that, man. Leaf. It was slow and steady, but, you know, no deaths is fast in the randomizer yeah. world. I died a couple times. I took that intentional frog suit death when it was, when I got the anchor. I was like, "Ooh, this is exciting!" But it was like, <laughs> turned out to be some weird brown frog suit on the overworld map. Yeah, so, the um the anchor seems really disposed to giving in the frog suit for some reason. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. pretty good. Joy, man. So my world three, um, after I found out that I was stuck and I had to go back. And like actually mm -hmm. finish the whole world, I thought for sure I lost. I don't like, yeah. I don't know where I caught up or what happened. Um, that was the lead change actually. S Diesel did pass you there, but what saved you was having that uh, having that hammer using World Four. And uh, what with the frog suit there? Yeah, you, you actually had, you had a lead change there, and you ended up coming back um, as a result of it. That extra hammer you had. Damn, yeah, I think that was the hammer that I went back for in World Two with the star. Yep. Yeah, man. You I went had all a the lot way back. of hammers, man. <laughs> I had a lot of hammers. Yeah. Did my cloud that... help me in World Eight? Did anyone else have a cloud? Because I um, clouded over eight two, or sorry, eight one, and then I got no hands. Yeah, you got no hands. Unfortunately, as Diesel, I think he got all of them actually. Like, he had one death though, so uh, a little more issue because of that. But yeah, you no hands. Yo, where's that in your warpus runs, dude? Right. I know. When I got no hands, I was like, of course. See, I told you, man, this guy is like, man. So this is what you need to do. You need to run Mario 3, any percent warpers through a vanilla seed. <laughs> and then I'll get the no hands. Yep. Uh, for anyone Wait. wondering, because we are using um, our ever drives, I went to do the fastest movement possible across the hands, which is buffering an input, which is select. And uh, my save state is select um, and down. And because I was above the airship, that's where you see that blink. That's where that blink came from. 
I'm sorry. I, I don't know if anyone noticed, but just just you in know case, what, bump you. Let me know. go talk to somebody who doesn't cheat. Chuck attack. When is winning his match? I actually time lost time time because of it. This is it's not your time anymore. <laughs> your, your time machine is gone. Man. It costs not me more winning. time doing that. Look, look here, flower power, Mitch, camera brother, Sadi. Your time is over. Okay. Third of a second. cheater. You know, All you right. and you and Glib just cheating, just cheater, just cheating. Oh, what's Glib what's doing? Up, man? Just in case I got no hand, just in case I got a hand. Uh, oops, load save state. Did I say your the, time uh, to talk? Hush. The game genie for a bit. <laughs> nah. So, Ch congrats, man. How, how you enjoy the season, man? Oh man, uh, it started out kind of rough. I don't know if it was just I haven't done a whole lot of these, but you know, I, I just kept trying to go too fast and making lots of mistakes. Yeah. Uh, I even took a game over at one point, which is a little rough. But uh, uh, we kind of settled into a rhythm. In the second half and uh played a lot better got a lot of hammers which helped a uh, lot of hammers in this seed are you a you do normal runs of this chuck yeah i've, I've done uh i've run warpless and mainly warpless for yeah Yo, i think the first couple guys. i think the first um, couple barely of levels, lost <laughs> mitch I think finished the first couple about make people... i want to say like three minutes ago four minutes ago What's going on? Uh, excuse um, me, caller. Can you please turn down your radio? <laughs> caller, please turn down your radio. Thank you. You, caller. Yeah, what's going on? Somebody's echoing, echoing, uh, echoing, echoing. I've run echoing. warpless and mainly warpless. That was a good or... seed. Yeah. I think. It was, it was definitely a, a pretty decent seed. Yeah. yeah. En enjoy it while you got it, because uh, <laughs> all those hammers and again we got, you know, most of you all breaking sub fifty here, so. Gotta go fast, man. Like I uh, said, man, I thought I was doomed after World Three. I, I, what'd you do, Chuck? Did you use a hammer? Because I, I ended up having to do all of World Three. Then I had to take a death I, to get across the bridge. Ugh. I basically played all of World Three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel I, like Beast was the skipped, only one who didn't. I skipped yeah, no, pretty much all I, of World I, Two. I, I skipped a sm um, some of World Three. Yeah. Um, and then I played it right to because uh, I said if the first pipe took me straight to the end Then I would gamble that lock and I gambled the lock it went straight to the closest pipe and, Yeah, you know, I gambled the other two pipes and they connected. Yeah, same it's Horrible. What about world seven? That was um, I went directly to the island. It just somehow managed that I Did the right levels. I guess I did the piranha plan and then the fortress yeah, I think a lot of people um, had very similar workflow there. Yeah, I, I think I took that same route. I think oh. when you get into like a maze-like position in World Seven, it, it's good to just like keep your forward momentum when going through pipes. Like one pipe will take you to somewhere, and you're not happy with it, but like just kind of keep going, and then backtrack once you get fully stuck. But it's <laughs> risk. Man. Well, I'll tell you what. Little do you know that the pipe past seven one actually would have taken you beside seven nine. <laughs> 